Well, welcome back. Uh, so today we're gonna talk about the F-250 over duty. Uh, it's been a while since I kind of done a update video. So I think that's what we're gonna do. Also got a lot of questions on social media about the truck. So we'll probably hash out those as well. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is the front end of the truck. I'm gonna get on this side, it's probably easier. All right, much better. The one thing about filming in the place I film at are the people that like to get rowdy and loud out there. So I will apologize. So I guess the best way we're gonna do this is start with the front, work our way back, and then uh, maybe jump to the interior. So, first thing, the further part sticking out would be the Warren Winch. It is a 15S or M15S. So it's got the synthetic. Uh, it's a 15,000 pound winch. Uh, I am looking into upgrading the front winch already. Uh, one is because of the bumper that's in the rear. I'm probably gonna take this 15S Move it in the rear. The winch I really wanted to put up here was a little bigger, made by uh, Warren. So I'm hoping with COVID and everything kind of go into the back burner, they will get one in and we can add her to the front end. Uh, we're gonna do a bigger one and then uh, this one will move to the back of the truck. And we'll talk about when we get back there why that all has to do with one of the questions. So we'll, we'll talk about that here. Now, this worn winch is mounted and wrapped in the Expedition One uh, full bumper kit. So they do make a couple, you can get it without the big bull bar. You can also get it with, uh, I think they call it a little stubby. I prefer to go with this one. So. I just think it fits the truck a lot better and it's a little bit more protection. Next, we're going to jump to the LP9s. All right, I got those. They are full combo, driving combo. And then we have LP6s on the side of them. We have Squadron Pro. Yep, Pro driving combo uh, fog lights added to the front of the truck. That is pretty much the only thing I really changed. Now, a couple questions. Uh, the beautiful logo that Ford has put out. Everybody asked me where I got it. This is actually, uh, it's not the first truck, like physical first truck, but this is the first year Ford has decided to black out uh, their emblem and get away from their royal blue. So, uh, that was one of the things that sold me on this truck actually. And you guys probably already saw the B-roll or will see B-roll so you'll get a better close up look of that. Uh, or I'll snap it in right now so you guys can see it again. Okay. The next question are the headlights. 
same thing. Where did I get the headlights made? And no lie, these are also factory headlights. Uh, we are gonna talk about, it's not a question, it's more of a complaint on my end. Look, these are stock headlights. There's no aftermarket bulbs. There's no adjustment like, yes, my truck is lifted. Everybody says because my truck is lifted, they're brighter. No, even when my truck was bone stock, I'd get high beamed all the time for my headlights. Next. Well, hold on a second. Truck needs, I need, I need a, uh, a stool to get up here. All right, so I'm trying to do my best with the light. Fortunately, let's try something real quick. This is gonna work. Let's try something. Give me a second. Nope. Oh well. You guys can we can make this out. Alright, so what makes the overduty so special? Well, now this piece right here, uh, I made, right now I don't have the cover on it, but this is a uh, snorkel. I was running an air raid air filter, uh, great filter, but it was too thick. Uh, wasn't allowing enough air through for this truck. So I had to go with this brand, which I can't even remember. But it does pretty good cleaning, and there is a modification that we're going to talk about today uh, that's going to even make it better. So, uh, a lot of work went into this. We basically had to uh, design this whole section, be able to build a box, mill out a box, all that stuff, to fit the sensor so the air sensor still works. We didn't want to spend all the time trying to relocate all this stuff to up here and then this back here. We could have then got maybe some company to make a mold and dump the trailer, or trailer, the snorkel underneath the subframe that's right there. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see that. Let me see, I'll try to move you guys here a little bit. Okay. Yeah, so there is a subframe that goes right here uh, which mounts a bunch of stuff to it. We just didn't want to mess with all that. Uh, so instead, we took a five inch hole saw, drilled straight through the subframe, boxed her in, and then ran this four, four inch stainless steel pipe right through it. This box here is made also out of stainless. Uh, yeah, we'll get to more about all this once we get uh, through the engine compartment. Next, as you can see, I have a switch pro. So we made a custom bracket here. Basically it's replaced the battery bracket that was there already. Uh, best thing about this little bracket is if I decide to put more electronics on this truck, I can actually mount a secondary switch pro to the back of this plate and we'll be good to go. Uh, I have already maxed out the switch pro and the aux switches that comes stock with the Ford. Please ignore this little uh, gaggle of uh, wire sitting here. We had to pull out for a fuse and uh, get in there. We still have to go back in there to put the new fuse in, uh, which will be done at the end of this video. Not with you guys. But yes, that is pretty much uh, under the hood at the current moment. We do have a fuse block over there. Uh, just a cheap one, nothing big or fancy over there. But we're gonna be redoing that also in the near future. So, let's jump to the next part. Let's 
talk about the hood. Now, some of you guys have probably, ooh, almost knocked you guys over. Oops. Some of you guys have, let's back you up a little bit here. So I don't knock you guys over. Okay. Some of you guys might recognize the hood. It is a hood for a specialty truck that Ford sells. Uh, FTX, I think they make a Tonka truck and all this other stuff. Uh, that company, that's their hood. Can you call them personally and buy this hood? No, you cannot. How did I get it? Well, uh, I got lucky. We'll put it that way. Um, so, uh, I get asked all the time, what hood is this? What hood is this? What hood is this? Where can I get it? Where... This is a hood that you personally cannot buy. But you could. You would have to go buy a brand new truck from Ford uh, that is one of their specialty builds. And that's how you're going to get that to the next part. All right, so next we're gonna talk about the lights on the front of the truck. More lights on the front. Yes, I know, I know. Let's just solve the question that I get asked 10,000 times a week. Why does this truck have so many lights on it? Uh, am I afraid of the dark? Uh, no, but I am afraid of heights. Uh, so if you guys are watching the channel and you've been familiar with the channel, you can imagine how I feel about one of my trails that I have to do here soon. Uh, but we also built this truck for search and rescue. Uh, a lot of you guys know I do own a dog training company and we do a little bit of search and rescue there. Uh, so we multi-purpose truck. Okay. Hopefully, I know people get, oh, too many lights, too many lights. So hopefully that makes people a little bit more happy and understand why this truck looks the way it does, the reason why I built it, so on and so forth. Up on top I have, so right here is a XL80 uh, from Baja Design. Those are the XL Sports linkable kit from Baja Designs. And as you can see, uh, right here is the top of the snorkel. Now that's all gonna change here real soon and we're gonna talk about that product that's sitting back there that's gonna be put on this truck. We're just waiting for a piece to show up so we can accomplish that. We'll talk about the rack here towards the end. All right. Can we get all this in video? So this one's a tight spot. I gotta fit myself between a 42 inch tire in my wheel well. So, underneath we have a uh, rad flow suspension, uh, coilovers in the front, custom built for the truck and its weight. Uh, we do have extended brake lines. I have talked about those things forever and because I am a busy guy, it's been so hard to get time to sit down and do my brake lines. So, Hopefully here soon we're gonna do extended brake lines. I also wanna put on uh, limiting straps and other things to keep this thing from flexing too much. I don't know if you guys can see. Let me uh, change the angle here. Uh, they're being blocked at the current time. Hiding right back here is some 550 cord because, well, when I do go off-road, I prefer not to have my sway bar hooked up, so it's always disconnected. And I use 550 cord to keep it from going places. All right, not the best of camera view we got going on here. Tall truck again is gonna be a problem. So, this, everybody asked where did I get these wonderful things. Uh, these are by Fab Four. There are their open fender kit. You should be able to run a 40 inch tire on a stock truck. Do I feel like that's 100% correct? I feel like it'd still rub, depending on the wheels, offsets, probably all that comes into play. Uh, so, 
But if you're not, or, well, you would rub if you went off-road, most definitely. Uh, I was on a six inch lift on 40s and there were some things that uh, I was still rubbing on, like the brake lines and so on and so forth. Uh, hence to why I bought other ones. So this is their open fender kit. It's made out of steel. Uh, you see these bolts here, they give you a, like a little extension flare to stick out if you wanted a little bit of a flare. Uh, I chose against the flare. I just feel like this is a better look. Uh, it wouldn't have stunk out, uh, stunk, uh, snuck out past my bumper, so I could have ran it if I wanted to. I just chose not to. All right. So now we're going to talk about this. I hate these. They got to go. Um, I've been reaching out to a ton of companies, but nobody wants to make me an actual rock slider for an F-250. So this might be something custom I have to do. Uh, yeah. With some of the trails and stuff that I got been working on and got called out, definitely need these. So if anybody knows of a good place that's willing to work with me and build some F-250 rock sliders, actual rock sliders, no chinky stuff, please. Uh, please, comment below on this video. All right, this is a pretty dark video part right here. Uh, I am running also Baja Design rock lights for underneath the truck. I want to say there's 25 total rock lights underneath this whole truck. Two in each wheel well, four across the, the back here, which I had a wire come loose so my Not all of them are on. I got to fix that. It's always a thing with this Ford, but uh, I am running Baja rock lights. As you can see, they actually do a very good job. All right. I am running comms inside the truck. I'm running a Midland Micro. Uh, it's antennas right here. Uh, great, great little radio. If you guys don't have one, I, I think it's a must. Right here, I am running the uh, OVS XL270. I'm going to do a video on this. Uh, I had some problems with it when I first got it and I feel like the video needs to happen There's really no instructions on how to close this uh, One guy finally did it. it took me forever to find his video So I'm probably gonna do one Once you figure it out, it's not so bad, but it was very frustrating trying to close this thing uh, Without really knowing how Then I also have mounted a crazy beaver uh, shovel I'm running uh, water rotopacks, total of three. The third one was in use. It's so it's laying in the bed at the current moment. When you're out on the trail with a truck as big as this, uh, just so you guys have a size where I'm 5'9", to give you an idea. This is actually a tire swing or swing out on a rear bumper that almost comes to my face. Uh, Basically, no stock jack is going to work on this truck anymore. Uh, reached out to Pro Eagle, got myself a three-ton jack. Uh, haven't had to use it. That's usually what happens when you buy a three-ton jack or any type of jack. Once you buy it, you don't need it. Now, we're in the back. And there's a lot back here. So we're going to do this quickly. Not quickly, but try to get all the information out. Up top. As you can see, it is a Rome Adventure XL Bangle. That kid, every time, every time, uh, Vagalabon tent. I probably still murdered it. Uh, and it's in black. Here is the Baja Design uh, RTL S in the back. I got two rock lights here. There's also supposed to be a bunch of others. Uh, I don't know what happened to them. They just never showed up. Uh, underneath this big cylinder is a propane tank. I got a fire extinguisher mounted over here. Up there are XL Pros. Down here are 
uh, squadrons, pros back here, inside the bumper. Now, everybody wants to, every time they see me, oh my God, you're gonna, your truck's so expensive and your license plate's about to fall off. Let me, let me get this into view for you guys. Yes. My license plate is being held on by one zip tie. Um, usually that's how it goes. You go expensive everywhere else, but where you need, you don't need to. The reason why was, well, when I got test fitted, uh, there, they were working on, uh, a rear wench plate that there's actually a cutout back here for the wench to come out. But something happened that never happened. Uh, I, I do stay up to date with them. They are still working on it. So I'm just like, well, ain't broken. Hasn't fall, hasn't gone, hasn't disappeared. Uh, so what? Two cents zip tie works for me. They also are working on a camera relocation bracket because I still stare at my 40 inch or 42 inch tire. Uh, now we all love a pair of traction boards. And I will say I've gone through some already and uh, I'm so glad that uh, Maxxis, or excuse me, Maxxis, Max Tracks uh, got a hold of me. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to talk bad, but if you guys watch some of the beginning videos, I had another set on there. Uh, a Kia Telluride just destroyed them. Uh, probably not a very good uh, traction board. Let's answer the questions that I get about this thing. That's a better angle. All right, so now let's talk about the ton of questions uh, that I get asked about this truck, the snorkel. Okay, we're gonna start with the most common. Too many bends, you're starving your motor. Uh, I have, we were having issues with it in the beginning and it turned out it was the air filter was too thick. It pulls air uh, without a problem. The, it facing in the rear is another one, which oh, that light right there is probably blinding you. There it is. We'll go right there. There you go. So it's facing the wrong way. You're starving the motor still. Nope. We have never had a check engine light airflow problem at all since I uh, changed the air filter. But for the people that are concerned, uh, we are still going to try to maximize our airflow through the motor. Uh, so our new plan and upgrade that's coming is this a uh, piece from right about, I want to say it's like right here on this seam. We're going to cut it off. And we're going to weld a 90. Basically, it'll be like right there. And we're going to install a cyclone filter. So this was a, the model 9005 or 9005, whatever, however they go by that. Uh, it is a patent designed and well, this thing is huge. So what this thing does, it's gonna pre-filter the air before it goes down into the engine compartment into the other filter down there. So it's gonna help keep the other filter uh, cleaner. But it'll have all this to breathe from. And there's also a slit right in there. So that is a lot of, uh, Air going to be going down inside the engine compartment into the motor. 
so we're gonna get to the part in the video where we're gonna talk about uh, the racks. Um, so these are the Alpha racks by Uptop Design, or Uptop Design, uh, Uptop Overland. And uh, that's their EXs. It's been a while since I had to go over these. Uh, their EXs and then that's their truss system. Uh, I love the rack. There are things that I was having issues with um, with the racks, but it's not like it's a big end of the day or big game changer. Uh, but one of the things uh, that I get asked is I reached out to up top to call and get one of these racks from them. And they said they're not going in production. I get about 15 messages a day or a week. I don't know. Uh, I get tons of messages about that. So uh, I'm not here to promote these because apparently they're not going to be making them. And I, I understand for up top, they sell a ton of Toyotas, probably a ton of Jeeves, a lot of other manufacturers. It's just going to be hard for them at the current time to get their uh you know another line started for them uh so i get that i think their weight's like somebody said it was like 16 weeks or something like that that's a long wait for some racks uh so yeah all right so i get asked what's to come with the build next what are you doing to it next? Well, lockers is, if I can ever get a set of lockers for this truck, uh, put my air back in. That needs to go back in. Uh, sliders need to go on. I think Oh, armor. She needs more armor. Uh, probably some diff protection would be nice. And uh, some probably better skid plates. Especially around the engine and transmission. So those are all probably going to have to be custom built. So that's all coming. I think that's about it. I feel like I'm forgetting something. There's probably more to this truck that I'm going to be doing to it because I'll be like, ooh, I want that. So, yeah. I think that's it. So, I think that's going to be the end of this video. Uh, it's Christmas time, so I hope you all have a happy holiday, Merry Christmas, however you identify it as. And uh, I will see you guys probably next year. Or maybe one more video right before. So. Oh, that's right. Hold on one second. I came up with an idea, but I want to run this idea. And maybe I'm going to run it past you guys. Maybe. I got to go find him. All right, now that we got Superior here, say hi. Hi. All right. <laughs> um, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna add to my challenge. Can I do that? Yeah, what do you want? So if I get to 1,200 subscribers, if, you know, to do Black Bear Pass, I feel like people need to comment below, a person, a veteran, a hero. Does it have to be a veteran? Or can it be a hero? Yeah, sure. All right. Uh, so they have to comment the hero's name, uh, not all their personal information, please don't do that. That's a no, no. Uh, and a little bit about them, tell us their story, why they're a hero. And then the, the comment with the most likes by the time we do, or well, time we start leaving and prepping for Black Bear Pass, we will reach out to them and, uh, uh, uh orchestrate for them to ride with us to go down Black Bear Pass. You like that idea? Yeah. One or two. 
we could do one, two, we could do however other people might be tagging with us anyways. You know, maybe we fill some seats. Justin gonna go? Yeah. He's gonna do Black Bear? I think so. He'd be the easiest out of the three of ours. <laughs> yeah, you're longer than him too, aren't you? Mm -hmm. So, comment below, a veteran, a hero, a police officer, firefighter, a Anybody that you feel is a hero. It doesn't even have to be somebody in that category. Um, they, they had to go above and beyond type of deal. And then if they want to come with us to go down Black Bear Pass, uh, one in the Overduty, one in the, the Gladiator, and then if somebody else comes that they tag, we'll pick a, a, a third and however many else. I need somebody smaller in my Jeep because it doesn't have a lot of room. <laughs> so... Uh, all those things will be hashed out. So the one with the most likes uh, in the comments below will be picked. And we'll probably do an actual video separate from this one. Uh, just so people... Uh, people can actually comment. So look for that video. Let's do it on that video. And uh, so it's just one video dedicated to those people. So it's easy for us to track, other people to find. So that's what we're gonna do. There ain't no decision making. We're gonna just do this. Yeah. All right. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make a video, a short, a short. Probably be easiest. A Quick, short to the point. Uh, video. It'll be. We'll make it after this video launches. It'll be there. Look for it. So comment in that short. Uh, the people that you wish or they want to go. If you want to self volunteer, volunteer yourself. Go ahead. But, all right guys, I gotta go ahead and get this video edited and get it published. So I will see you guys soon. Uh, actually, I'll see you guys real soon because I'm gonna be making a short here in what? 30 seconds. Well, no, <laughs> it's probably gonna take me an hour or two to edit. So I'll see you guys tonight.